Joining me now to talk more about Big Blue is two-time Super Bowl champion David Deal. Always great to see you. It's always great to be here. Awesome. Let's first talk about Landon Collins. We're going to talk about offensive line in a second. We know that's your area of expertise. Tell me your thoughts on Landon Collins. Landon Collins is a tremendous pickup for the New York Giants. Obviously, before the draft, there was a vacancy sign on the safety room in the, the Giants facility. Uh, short tackler. You know, he's the size of a Will linebacker. And the biggest thing for him in Steve Spagnuolo's system it's not about being the biggest player, the biggest hitter. It's about being in the right position at all the time and knowing all the coverages. The thing that you know about somebody coming out of Alabama and Nick Saban, those defensive backs know how to play the game, and they're pro-ready right away. Now everyone knows the offensive line has been an issue the last few seasons for the Giants. Do you think Eric Flowers can have an impact right away, David? I think he definitely can have an impact right away. Number one, you're talking about a monster human being who just turned 21 last Saturday. You're talking about 6'6", 330 pounds plus, and he is a road grader. He can move people off of the line scrimmage. He is good with his hands. He's a big human being that is going to come right away and bring an attitude of getting after people, finishing people. And not only did he bring that attitude, what he's bringing is competition. He's going to probably slot it at the right tackle position, which is going to move Justin Pugh inside, but it's going to create competition between John Jerry and Jeff Schwartz which is only going to help the New York Giants because they're going to put their five best offensive linemen on the field to protect Eli Manning and to open up holes for those great running backs. Now, overall, how would you grade the Giants in this year's draft? I would grade it at a high B+, plus, low A-, minus, just for the sheer fact that the first three picks that they've had are going to be immediate impact players for the New York Giants, and that's what you need in the draft. You want players that are going to come in, fit the mold of the New York Giants, but are going to make an impact and be competitive right away. Okay, before we let you go, we want your thoughts on Eli Manning possibly playing without a contract extension. You know what? Eli's a selfless guy, and believe me, he is not going to be caring about the contract or any of that stuff. Eli wants to win football games and prove himself again. I think anybody who's heard the press conferences, 6-10 and 10 is not the route that the New York Giants want to go, and he didn't have the season he wanted to have. I think this year, his second year in Ben McAdoo's offense, the addition of some weapons, Shane Vereen out of the backfield, all of those are going to be huge factors in playing up-tempo football, getting the ball out of his hands quick, which I think is going to lead to a very, very you know, statistical year for Eli Manning.